Hey guys, um, just wanted to do a quick video um, about the universal digital speedometers. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about the wiring diagram, and considering a lot of them I've been noticing are wrong. So I figured I'd do a quick video. Um, this is going to be kind of bare bones. It's not going to go every single terminal. I am not going to be going over the speed sensor um, plug. That one's kind of straightforward. You know, just plug the thing in. Um, and then I'm also not going to be going over the gear indicators. Um, that one you can find um, a diagram for that. Not only that, a lot of people don't have actual gear indicators on it. So I feel like, um, you know, I'm just trying to do bare bones here. And then, of course, this is your sixth gear right there. So what we're going over is the main plug to actually make the speedometer work properly. Um, so what I'm going to be doing, um, so also just one of the little side note. Um, as you can see, these two speedometers are slightly different. One is the older version, which you can see the writing is in black, and then you have the newer version, and the writing is in white. Uh, there might even be a, a third generation. Um, this is just the, the two that I've, I've noticed with the, the difference. Um, so, that being said, um, I'm going to be going over the actual wiring diagram. So, black is going to be um, your positive wire that is going to go to your ignition. So when you turn the key on, it's going to send power to the, uh, the speedometer. Red, that's going to have to go straight to your battery on the positive side. Um, that has to be, have constant power. Pretty much what that does is when you turn it on and off, it's going to cycle on and cycle off again. So that has to have constant power. So it's also considered the, the memory. Um, we move down here is light blue, which is the right turn signal. Orange is the left turn signal. Uh, deep blue, which is just the blue wire. Um, you see that blue wire right there? That is for the high beams, um, the high beam indicator light. Uh, brown is this small night light. Uh, not really sure what that one's for. Uh, never hooked that one up. Uh, I'm just assuming it dims the lights a little bit um, for when you're riding in the night. Purple and black. This is the one I've been asked about constantly. Now, with the older one, as you can see, it is purple. And that is going to go to um, the signal wire on your um, on your CDI ignition. Um, you're just going to go, I have another video on that. If you want to take a look at that one, it is. Uh, there's a link for it in the first five seconds of the first video. So just go ahead and take a look at that video and to kind of give you more insight of to where to actually wire that wire to. Because I tried to put on the positive side of the coil, that didn't work. Wrapped it around the spark plug cable, that didn't work. Finally, I got a, another video to where they said to actually hook it up to the signal wire coming back from the, the crank driven um, uh, sensor and that actually worked properly. So, um, and then I'm going to notate that on the newer one, um, it's not purple anymore. It is more of like a dark, uh, it's more of like a black with a purple stripe almost. Um, but yeah, you can see that one in the corner. They're in the same location, they just changed the color, which uh, I guess that was kind of the confusion everybody was having. So, uh, moving down the line, um, blue and white. Um, that's very frustrating as well because when I was looking at the diagrams online, they were all saying that was the oil light. This does not come with an oil light. This comes with a gas, um, a gas gauge. Um, now I know a lot of bikes, it, these, this wire works out for resistance. Um, the less resistance, um, the more full the gas gauge is going to say. So let's say uh, if you hook it, uh, I see a lot of people say, you know, the gas light's constantly flashing. So just take this blue and white wire, go straight to ground with it, and it should pretty much tell you that you have a full tank of gas. Next is the green wire, which is frustrating because everywhere I've been seeing is green and black. Um, the green and black wire is for the gear indicator. Um, so, um, but yeah, you want to look for the actual just green wire. See that green wire right there, and then on the older version, uh, in the same location, green wire right there. That is your the neutral or the negative wire, excuse me. Um, that is going to go straight to the ground of the frame or straight to the the negative side of the battery. Either way is fine. Um, yellow and white. This is the neutral wire. This works. Um, 
when it is grounded out, the light will come on. That's how this, uh, this wire should be run. So it's going to go right to your neutral switch. Um, also kind of wanted to notate um, for guys that are just kind of starting off just now doing this, um, I would highly recommend getting a actual crimper. Um, oh, let me start from scratch. Um, I would recommend actually getting some plugs. You can pick these up on eBay for 20, 30 bucks and you can get a whole pack of them and then it will give you um, the actual connectors and everything like that. And then next, I would recommend also getting a nice crimper. Um, this one was 30 bucks. You can get much nicer ones that work uh, just as good or even better. Um, I thought this one was pretty good. I got it for about 30 bucks. I was very happy with it. Also, um, best thing to do would be to solder your joints together because if not, um, what can happen is when you pull on the plug, the wires will come out and that's not a fun time. So um, hopefully this video helped out. Um, if you guys have any other questions about the speedometers, um, feel free to ask. Um, I'm going to be hopefully wiring this one up um, to my bike over here. Um, I currently have a, another speedometer in there, but I'm just going to wire that one up just to kind of as a tutorial. Um, so yeah, hopefully this helped out. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks.